Hello guys, let's go out on four wheel drive a little bit with the Payero in Sweden, Värmland, Grums. You can see the roads are full of snow and uh, there has been no uh, snow move, removing uh, trucks out. So here is what people are doing today. Let's see how the roads are. Ah, drifting. <laughs> so. This is the roads look in my old birth town maybe I can show you a few places where I have lived sorry for the camera Start with uh, this place here. I have lived in a flat in that house. lived in a couple of flats in this area here now it's like a pretty you know decent area but when I was young growing up here it was not that is all I can say about that and, uh, let's drive to another place I lived Ice hockey rink. And here was I walking when I was a kid to school. one of the schools I went to so now we're gonna drive through the city of Grums Sorry for that, but I don't have anything to put my camera in. This is Main Street in Europe's gas station. There was a few more when I was a kid living here. Cinema is still half active. Here you have more 
like the central part of Europe supporting Ukraine you can see by the flag here you have the system belong the government uh, only allowed to sell alcohol in Sweden so they highly taxed it and uh, telling us that we are not allowed to buy alcohol otherwise because we do drink too much so they don't believe in people in Sweden so that is how the government treat people here so here is the um, government the building Almost. Very slippery. So now we're gonna drive to another place where I have lived. And we keep the second gear now. So I can hold the camera a little bit better. place I actually lived with my father also uh, I was about four four years old and I was living in that white house here with my father and mother and after that uh, they split up and yeah you know it is what it is As a kid, I was walking with my father here, and we going here. They sell the bicycles and the televisions. This area here, I can show you there. When I was young, there was uh, like a trailer park place. They kept uh, Yugoslav and uh, Finland uh, workers. It was a uh, lots of uh, knife fights there and drink. So uh, we visit another place I lived. also has been without home for a while living in cars in France and nowhere but uh, yeah it's what it is that house in the front where the flag is there I live yeah let's continue our journey and see if we can find some more places where I have lived You know, driving a big uh, SUV, um, a real one with a four, real four-wheel driving, it's worth everything when it comes to days like this, you know. Uh, it's only fun to driving in snow and mud when you have a car like that. Uh, you don't need to bo be bothered at all, it's just fun, just plain driving fun. I cannot say it too much. Driving is supposed to be fun, guys. Not a transport from A to B. It's supposed to be fun. Something you enjoy. Remember when you were a kid? Your parents, they took a Sunday drive. Because it was fun. And, and something you, uh, you did on a Sunday. Because you, you like a treat for yourself. That is forgotten these days. Driving supposed to be fun, not only transport. Now let's go to another place I've lived in the city of Grums. I will pause because we drive, we come uh, that way there. We was coming, so now we're driving back this way, back to the city. 
city area. I call it city because it's the city of Groves. Actually, have a church, and I go there on Christmas uh, nights many times to just light a candle for my mother and father. surprised that the roads are cleaned here because normally in this city <laughs> I don't stress with that you know they try to save money so the snow uh, moving is very slow here but today is extremely fast uh, it can be I forget some places I lived because I lived a few places but uh, I, I because it's so many years ago oh, slippery I'm fast so let's see in this area I have lived through this place maybe or not because of the snow cleaning maybe it's not so smart yeah anyway I'm gonna point it out a little bit better here in the straight ahead I also went to school when I was moving here this place was pretty decent here I lived in the block and uh, down these places here where were the rich people lived I was thinking when I was a kid these people are rich they have uh, you know apple trees and everything so here I was down stealing apples <laughs> and uh, things they was in the gardens and these big old houses was so you know. so, now we're gonna drive to one of the nicest places I lived when I was younger. Actually I lived there when I was a teen from what can we say 12 to 12 to 16 about. And a few of those years was uh, amazing. For me, they were very good. Uh, I liked, liked them. I was very much into fishing and uh, we call it moped in Sweden, but it's uh, like uh, 50 cc motorbikes and dirt bikes and things like that. That was what my life was about them: fishing and uh, dirt bikes and uh, motorbikes. So. And chasing girls, of course, that you never get. But dreaming about girls that you you never get. But that was life. Like it's supposed to be when you are 13, 14, 15. So, yeah. Yeah. Now we're slowing it down because we're closing in where I live. When I was young, there was not so many houses here. These houses here, they were here, but uh, it was not so many of them. I remember almost every single one of them where people lived, where the nice girl were, where the annoying kid were, where the big uh, guy you were afraid of were, everything, you know. Where the old couple were, where the people complaining about me driving my motorbikes. Yeah. So this is uh, pretty, it's still a decent uh, place to live, you know. If I were living here, I would uh, really enjoy having a house in this area. Not down here, because 
in the front there it's a little bit older and trashy but not trashy but it's not uh, as nice as where I going now and my neighbor an older man he was amazing you know he was driving the ice cream truck and in the summer he had a fridge in the garage where he said you can eat as much as you want because these ice creams has been a little bit melted but they are good so I every day eat the ice cream as much as I could and in the front here a friend of mine was living still living here I don't have contact with anybody but you see that house here the the white one there I was living and that garage I had painted but then it was yellow so this this house here is where I was living when I was 12 to yeah 15 and my room was in the back there so yeah and here we have some nice neighbors and uh, This pink house I always liked so much, but and it's still very nice actually. It's a stone pink stone house. So. And uh, here live the girl I knew. Yeah. So. Here live the boy I knew. These houses in the front, you know, are the, the area where it's most expensive in this city because it's, you know, you have the this uh, lake further down, you can see it. Yeah. But for me, a little bit boring, you know, just big white houses, everything looks the same. It doesn't impress me at all. place where I uh, lived for a period um, it's not as fancy and uh, mixed emotion but um, it is what it is you know uh, there is no house on that place because on that place I uh, parked my car and slept in the car that summer uh, it was uh, you know a place where you have close to water you have the outdoor toilet uh, yeah, things like that so and you, you can park there uh, with not being bothered so yeah I'm gonna show the, that place in the front there that red cabin that was the outdoor and there was uh, I parked my car there this is yeah over 30, 35 years ago, so it looks a little bit different, but it was more wood. So there I lived in a period of time, and uh, you're supposed to remember stuff like that because that keeps you, you know, motivated to continue to work hard and appreciate what you got in life. I'm gonna show you another place where I lived. Outdoor Tantan cars. Yeah. We need to go a little bit off road. To show this next place. Here and not third year, everything's good, you know. And uh, here it was also a little bit more isolated 35 years ago, 40 maybe. So, yeah, 35 at least. And here was also a place you have close to 
the water so and you can do some fishing there very nice bass there so now we're gonna go to another place where I lived when you were a kid walking on that uh, train road uh, bridge and um, because you were fishing there but I even drive my motorbikes over and bicycles <laughs> crazy so yeah and this is the factory in this dirty old town now it's smelling a little bit also because it's uh, it's a paper industry so it smells bad sometimes drive a stick and not automatic I had some automatic cars also and of course like this Payero it could be automatic but uh, my muscle cars and fun cars I want them to do to be stick you know but if I get a really big car sometimes then I could have a automatic like a Chevrolet Impala or something I've been living there and I've been living there probably forget a few places but uh, this is uh, some of the places I've been living so I think we end it there and thank you guys for watching and uh, please tell me about you your living situations have you moved about much uh, I have of course lived in a few more places after this but uh, this is some of the places in this city so have a fantastic day guys over and off from Mike